Today's topic is cell and cell organelles. My dear friends, there are two types of cell in the living organisms, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Microscope is used for the observation of cells because the cells are very small in nature. Some living organisms cannot be seen with the naked eyes. For that, we use microscope or an electron microscope. In year 1665, Robert Hooke examined a thin section of a cork tree under the microscope. In this section, he saw hexagonal compartments like honeycomb. He named those compartments as cells. Cells means compartments. In Latin language, cellula means a small room. In 1883, two scientists, M. J. Schleiden and Theodor Schwann, formulated a theory of structure of a cell. In that, they said, all the living organisms are made up of cells and cell is the fundamental component of living organisms. In 1885, Rudolf Virchow proposed a theory that all cells are born from pre-existing cells. In living organisms, cell is a functional and structural unit. According to the functions, cells of different sizes and structures are found in different organs. We must study each and every part of cell to understand the processes occurring within the cell. There are two types of cells in living organisms, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Eu means true, karyon means nucleus. Pro means false, karyon means nucleus. In prokaryotic cells, nucleus is divided and it is scattered in the cytoplasm of the cell. In eukaryotic cells, nucleus is membrane bounded structure. Prokaryotic cells mostly found in unicellular animals. Eukaryotic cells are mostly found in multicellular animals and plants. Parts of cell the first part is the cell wall. It is found in cells of algae, fungi and plants. It is mainly composed of carbohydrates like cellulose and pectin. Afterwards, polymers like lignin, suberin, cutein are added in cell wall as per need. Functions of cell wall are to support and to protect the cell by preventing entry of excess water in the cell. The second part of cell is plasma membrane or cell membrane. It is a thin, fragile and elastic covering that separates the cell components from outer environment. Structure of plasma membrane Protein molecules are embedded in two layers of phospholipids. Plasma membrane is said to be a selectively permeable membrane as it allows some substances to enter the cell while prevents the other substances. Due to this property, useful molecules of water, salt and oxygen enter the cell and CO2 exits the cell. If any changes occur outside the cell, the cellular environment does not change due to plasma membrane. This condition is called as homeostasis. Students, cells use their energy to perform some process. One of them is endocytosis. Endocytosis Cells gulp food and other bacterial substances from outer environment. Amoeba gulps the substances from the outer environment with the help of pseudophodia. Like that cells engulf or gulp food and other bacterial substances in it. This process is known as endocytosis of cells. Exocytosis Exocytosis process is opposite to the endocytosis. To excrete the waste material out of the cell is known as exocytosis. Aplya Palecha Ujwal Bhavitevasati Buddhiraj e-learning app Aza download karun gya.